The following video is sponsored by TheChosenPrime.com. The Chosen Prime offers fast, free, same-day shipping on all domestic orders over $150. Be sure to check out Roller Stash, where you can combine orders to save on shipping. Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. It's Cato again with another Archcore review. I wanted to say third party, but this really isn't third party. Today I'm going to take a look at Archcore Wolf Frecky and Sterla. It's the third figure in their collection, the third of their larger bots in this collection. I picked mine up from thechosenprime.com. I'll have links in the description below if you're interested in picking them up from there as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do that. We're going to roll the intro and get started. It's Kato! Like always, the first thing I want to do is take a look at the packaging and it's become pretty standard Archcore packaging to have this brilliant artwork on the front. You can see Sterla there, Wolf Frecky being ridden into battle. He's got his battle axe, the bazooka, some nice artwork of uh, Sterla there. On the side, you get a little bit of artwork there. Other side, about the same, just with Wolf. Uh, there you got some a description of watching the packaging with a few QR codes to their social media on the top, Arch Core. And on the back, you have a nice shot uh, in a language I can't read of Sterla Frecky. You got the uh, left, I think it's the left hand fist mode, the vehicle mode, wolf mode, and a little shot there of uh, Frostlight with both arms on, which I will go over in the review. Let's see what's inside the box. First up, you get the instructions and it's got the same artwork that was on the front of the box. They are fold out instructions. The uh, transformation instructions are pretty, pretty good actually. And it's a very simple uh, transformation, but I'll go over it here in the review and it shows you how to go into the arm mode as well. Overall, the instructions are really good. Just like with the rest, you get packed with accessories here. You've got his cape, this time with this teal metallic blue Paul with 702 on the back. You have the weapon of choice. This time is a bazooka. You have one bazooka projectile here and an extra one here. You have his battle axe, the gold horn, a grenade, revolver. You have the holster for the revolver and it also has a couple of slots here that will allow you to put a grenade on or one of the other accessories. Here is an adapter that you can use to put the bazooka and mount it onto the wolf. And you have many different hand sculpts that just plug right in. You've got a thumbs up for each hand, a splayed fingers for each hand, and a pointer finger for each hand, as well as two small adapters. And like with the rest of them, you get a human character. This is Sterla. You've got that metallic teal going down the front of his chest plate. Some nice painted detail on his beard and scars. These things really do look good and they are small. 702 on the knee here with some copper. You've got the teal and white bear claw or wolf claw, I guess. 702 on the side, of course. All these nice little peg holes here. Articulation is the same on this one as it is on the others. You've got a ball jointed head. Be careful. I almost lost this because it popped off with the front of the armor. All that's interchangeable with other accessories that they offer. You've got these pieces that rotate around at the upper shoulder so that you can bring the arm out. Elbow bend rotation at the wrist. You've got uh, plenty of movement at the waist. And on the legs, it has little drop down ball joints, but out, up, all the way back, knee bend, ankle pivot and rocker. A lot of movement for this little guy. The only cumbersome thing is he's small, so he's hard to move. And here's a quick example of how you can arm him up. You've got in his right hand, his battle axe, left hand, you've got that bazooka held really nicely in there with the cape plugged into the back right here. And if you look underneath the cape, you've got his holster, the grenade, and his horn all stowed 
on the body. So about the only thing he's not holding is the extra missile for the rocket launcher. I like this a lot. This might be one of my favorite ones so far. And real quick, just to show you how they look compared to or how he looks compared to the previous release. This came with Wolf Gary or Jerry, and this came with Wolf Frecky. So you've got two new characters to add to the ranks. Wolf Frecky shows up packed in his alt mode, just as Wolf Gary did. And he looks amazing. It is the same exact mold that we got in the previous release, which makes sense because it's just another arm, another additional hand. But I love the colors where Gary was white, red, and black. This is that nice teal and black with a little bit of, what would that be, like a brushed aluminum look here rather than the copper that was on before and a different symbol here. You have sort of an all-seeing eye there at the top of the cab. It is, I love the way these look. This rat rod type, I don't know, it, what, what would it be? Like steampunk rat rod. It's just very cool design. Underneath, of course, you can see the fist there, but everything tucks away really well. You got the wolf head that you can see here, the back of the vehicle, not a lot to show off here. It rolls just fine. Uh, unfortunately, you don't store the figure in vehicle mode. That's mainly for wolf mode, which we'll get to in just a second. For a quick comparison, there he is beside the previous release, Wolf Gary in his alt mode. And like I said, you can tell that they are identical vehicles, just repainted, but that's okay. I think they look brilliant. And in his wolf mode, I, I, I've i always liked these since the first time I saw them. Uh, but I love, I think the colors on this guy really make him stand out. I, I mean, I love them all. But the, the having the dark black with that teal uh, tiger stripe or claw strike right there. You've got, uh, I forgot to do his ears here. But you've got his ears there that move up and down. Of course, this exhaust will rotate. You've got a uh, mouth that will open and close and he can rotate his head around from side to side and move up and down on a joint there. Of course, rotation all you want at each of the, what would be the upper hips. And you've got joints here for the legs, the toes are on a ball joint and another joint here at the bottom. Plenty of articulation, great color. You can see where you can set Sterla on here for him to ride into battle this guy looks amazing really love this set and of course you can have sterla riding in the battle there with the bazooka you can see i have it clamped on just like that take a good look at that because it took me some finagling to figure out how that worked but it was it was me being silly it works really easy so you've got sterla there riding on the seat got the Missile launcher, bazooka there, clamped to the side, riding in with his battle axe, ready to go to battle. And here you have Wolf Gary and Wolf Frecky side by side riding into battle. You've got him blowing the bullhorn to ready to fight. And Sterla and Frecky are ready to go freck some stuff up.
And we have Frecky in his fist mode or his arm mode, battle armor, arm mode, whatever you want to call that. Uh, it, it's great. I love the transformation, the way the front wheels come around or the back wheels come around and tab in here. Loved it on uh, Wolf Gary and I like it here too. So not a lot to see differently here, but you could see how the arm works and I'll tab those on here in a second. So the same way the shield and everything else goes on, you've got this slider, uh, this slider joint right here and this handle. You don't even really need this, honestly. This holds it just fine, but just in case you want to use it, it's there. But you just pop that on right there and lock that down in place. And if you want to use this additional bit, ah, it's better to slide it on beforehand, but you, you can still get it, get it in there by moving the hands back or the fingers backwards and sliding that around. And then he'll close his hands up on there and you've got him all set. And here's Frostlight with the two upgrades so far. This, this is a lot. It's a lot for these arms to hold. It can be a bit shaky, but he holds them all right. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, you can shake it a little bit and make them drop. For the most part, the joints hold up pretty well. It looks super goofy right now because there's going to be some more armor up pieces to go. There's a whole piece coming out later that'll add uh, armor to the legs and feet and uh, maybe more armor to the arms and back. But I kind of like how this is coming. Will I keep him in fully armored mode once I get everything? I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, I have to wait and see until I get that extra, that long trailer that's going to come for Frostlight that has all the other extra bits on it. But I love the gimmick. I think it's a very, very cool gimmick. But as of right now, that looks pretty goofy on its own. So there you have my look at ArchCore's Arc 07 Wolf Frecky and Sterla, the third set in their ginormous or their nice big mech viking warhammer like figure set this is the most confusing set i've ever i don't know what world they fit in but i really really do like it uh, i need some fiction i need a i need a comic book or something about these guys because they look amazing uh this does not disappoint it does exactly what i thought it would do the only thing i'm concerned about really is the finished product of the entire thing combined whether or not it's going to hold up the weight hopefully that additional that new piece that's going to come out sometime this year will have enough parts to maybe hold this together well enough to have it combined if not it doesn't break my heart the things they they all look so good separately that i'm not really concerned about it guys thanks so much for hanging out with me i really do appreciate it again i picked this up from thechosenprime.com my new sponsor thank you very much brandon at the chosen prime uh, i'll have the link in the description to the chosen prime and where to get these directly from the site if you got this far and haven't already hit that subscribe button smash that like button check out the other rejected cons start a new spy 82 larkins layer and inu tabi and until next time this is kato signing out see you around like a donut